All right, so we are here at Coriam. Unforgettable, great night. Um, everybody's dressed up nice. What do you heard about the event and what are you excited to see? Uh, it's such an honor to be here at the 2014 Unforgettable Gala. Uh, to be surrounded by such inspiring um, talent, you know, with Asian Americans and to be part of such a supportive community of tomorrow's stars, I mean, it's, it's, it's infectious. It's, it's, I'm, it's such an honor to be here. I'm so excited to be co-presenting the award to John Cho. Uh, his, I loved him in Harold and Kumar. Yes. <laughs> um, and, and this is the 13th year, I think, for Unforgettable. And so lucky 13. I think it's going to be an extra, extra good one. Absolutely. Uh, I know you have a show coming out. We've seen the advertisements all on TV. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it. It looks kind of like a Monty Python or, or tell us about it. So I will be co-starring in a new 15th century medieval comedy musical <laughs> called Gallivant. I play Princess Isabella, who's a Spanish princess, um, and it's it's storylines like this don't happen every day. It's so special to be able to be working with such an amazing cast and crew. Alan Menken, who is Disney King, who's the man behind Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, you know, Aladdin. Um, he's written all the music, and it's so magical. And I think it, the show is going to be so. Um, infectious and appeal to a lot of people of all ages uh, and and being half Chinese and you know it's just so exciting to be I mean who would have thought to be in a corset sword fighting riding a horse and singing you know in a 15th century period piece it's um it's been such a huge opportunity and I'm just so grateful to Dan Fogelman and ABC for um for giving me the part. <laughs> and then lastly, let's say somebody doesn't like musicals, not a big musical person, why do they have to still tune in? What are they gonna love about that? You know, this is really close to home because my husband does not <laughs> like musicals. You say the word musical and he is out the other door, you know? But he, when he watched it, he absolutely loved it. I think because it's sort of a twisted, demented fairy tale for adults. It takes the mick out of the whole genre, but in such a wonderful and lovely way. It has the happy endings, but it also has the quirky endings as well. And it keeps it real a bit. It's almost a very humanizing perspective that we see of each of the characters. Um, I think uh, with if, if people like Monty Python, The Princess Bride, then they're gonna really, really love, I think they're gonna love Gallivant. You gotta watch it January 4th. January 4th, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock on ABC. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks.